Hello everyone. Welcome to Controllers Tech. Today in this video, I will show you guys, how to emulate SDM32 F103, aka blue pill as a mouse, to control the cursor on your computer. This is more like a gravity mouse, as it involves the accelerometer, from which we get the accelerations in X and Y directions. The mouse movement will be based on these acceleration values. Let's start by creating a new project in Cube IDE. Give some name to the project, and click finish. Here is our cube MX. First of all, I am selecting external crystal for the clock. Next, select serial wire debug. Now, I am selecting the I2C1 to connect the ADXL345 accelerometer. Next, select USB, and enable device FS. I am leaving everything to default here. In the USB device, select the class as HID class. You can leave everything default. I am changing the name, to show that it actually works. This is the name for my device, and this will pop up in the computer, after I connect the USB. Let's enable the onboard LED also. We will use it as an indication. Select the pin PA7 as the XD pin, as I will connect the button to it. Let's go to the GPIO setup. PA7 is the external interrupt pin, where the mouse button will be connected to. This is how I am going to connect the button. When the button is pressed, the 3.3 volts will feed to the pin PA7, and the MCU will detect a high in the input. I know the current will sink into the pin PA7, but as we are only using the 3.3 volts from the MCU itself, this current won't be that much. I am changing the trigger to falling edge, you can use the rising edge also. I am using pull down here, because I want this pin to act as a ground for the input current. Also, change the output of PC13 to high, so that the LED is off in default state. I am setting the max clock for the system. Let's check if everything is covered. We have USB, I2C, LED, button. I forgot to enable the interrupt for the XD line. Now all is ok, so let's save this to generate the project. By the time we will look into the connections. ADXL345 is connected via the I2C with pins B6, and B7. It is powered with 3.3 volts from the MCU itself. Here we have our main file. Let's first include the USB HID.h file.
Open the USB device.c and copy the USB handle type def from here. I have created a structure for mouse data, which includes button, x value, y value, and the wheel. It should be created in the same order. I am initializing everything with the zero. Let's create the ADXL related functions. I have already covered these in the previous videos. You can check it on the top right corner. Before proceeding further, let's declare some variables that we are going to use. These are the minimum and maximum values for X and Y. These will change after we calibrate the sensor. Button flag will be used in the interrupt handler. Here is the function to calibrate the ADXL values. I am reading the ADXL raw values. After taking 50 samples, this function will set the new max and new minimum values. This whole process will take 5 seconds, and once completed, the LED on board will light up to indicate the completion. Now let's write for the external interrupt. We need the XD callback function for this. If the interrupt is triggered by the pin PA7, then set the button flag to 1. Rest of the processing for the button will be done in the while loop. Let's move to the main function now. Initialize the ADXL. Calibrate it. Now in the while loop, we will get new X and Y values. If the X value is less than the minimum X value, we have our new X value, which is the difference between them. And if the X value is greater than the maximum X value, then the new X value will be the difference between them. This is basically to make sure that the little movement of the sensor doesn't get updated as the mouse movement. We do the similar things for the Y values. Let's give a delay of 10 milliseconds. First, we will test this part of the code to make sure the data is correct and as per our requirement. Let's build this code and debug it. Right now the sensor is calibrating for my orientation. Green light is on, so the calibration is done. Check the values here, we have new max values, and new minimum values. Note that when I tilt towards right, the Y values are increasing in positive way. Tilting towards left, and Y values are negative. Tilting towards the front, X becomes negative, and towards back, X becomes positive.
In this diagram, the red color is computer's axis, and green color is our values. As you can see in the right direction, computer have positive x-axis, and we have positive y values. And in the upward direction, computer have negative y values, and we have negative x values. So all we need to do is, send the sensor's y values to the x coordinate of the mouse, and sensor's x values to the y coordinate of the mouse. If the variation in the x values is more than 20, we will send the value to the y coordinate of the mouse. And the same for the x coordinate of the mouse. Here I chose 20, and you can choose any other number also, based on how sensitive you want the mouse to be. If the values are less than 20, there will be no changes in the coordinates. Now our data is ready to be sent to the USB. Send report function is used to send the data to the USB. Let's build this. We have a warning, but that's okay. Let's debug our code now. I will directly run this. Let's open the device manager. Or better open the devices in the settings. I am opening the devices, to show you how the mouse will be detected. Let's connect the USB now. As you can see STM32 F103 mouse gets detected here. It's being detected in the mouse or keyboard category. Also, Windows is detecting it as a mouse. As I lift it up, you can see the cursor is moving. But, let's reset it once, so the code can calibrate sensor for this orientation. LED is on, so the calibration is done. You can see the movement is as per the tilting of the device. But this acceleration is too fast. I want to slow this down. To do so, I need to reduce these values, so I am dividing them by 3. You can choose any other divisor based on how much acceleration you want. We also need to add the button to the mouse. If you remember in the interrupt callback function, we set the button flag. Now, if the button flag is 1, we will write value 1 to the button of the mouse. Value 1 indicates the left click. If you want to emulate the right click, write the value 2. After writing the value, send the report to indicate the click. We also need to send the button value as 0, to indicate the button was released. Let's add a delay of 50 milliseconds between these reports. So first click, and then released. And in the end, set the button flag to zero. Let's build and run now. Again, we will do the calibration first. You can see movement is pretty smooth. The button works too. 
I have found out that this button works better, if we set the rising edge trigger to the external interrupt, so you can try that, if you have some issues. Anyway, single click, and double click works alright here also. This is it for this video. I hope you understood the process. You can use any other accelerometer also, for example, GY521, or something similar. In the next video, I will cover the keyboard part, where I will try to emulate STM32F103 as a keyboard. You can download the code from the link in the description. Keep watching, be safe, and have a nice day ahead.